Hello, everyone, and welcome to Menopause Made Easy uh, podcast. And my, I'm your host, Diliana Mileva. I'm sleep expert, menopause coach, and I'm also a breath work and yoga teacher. And I'm excited today to have uh, in the show uh, Nayana So. She's very, very special soul, actually. Uh, uh, she's a master in energetic and soul alignment. So her work as a transformational mentor and soul therapist is very practical in nature and essentially guide and support women as they meet and reconnect with their authentic self, often for the very first time. This transformational experience results in unwavering appreciation and reverence for their uniqueness and ultimately their divinity. Deep self-love and inner trust is achieved, opening the core for a life more full lived, a life that feels joyful, abundant, and purposeful. Welcome, Nayana, and today's show. Thank you so much to join me. And tell me about the energetic of menopause. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's really a pleasure to be here and and share this this experience and I would really like to thank you for the work that you do it's so so important to have this kind of information available to women who are going through this really divine process of menopause and so I, I first would love to just say thank you thank you thank you thank you for this beautiful work that you're doing and to start with the, the, the question you asked me, would you ask me that again, please? Tell me more about energetics of menopause according to your understanding and what regarding your work also. So how that energetics in menopause works um, actually to help women in menopause. Okay. So... The first thing that's so, so important for, for all women, young, old, premenopausal, postmenopausal, is to understand how important and powerful we are. We are the, the beings that hold the creation codes of God. We are the people through which every single human being has been birthed. So we are such an important part of, of, of the human collective. And each month we have divine energetic systems um, within us. And each month our periods, our menstruation was um, like a mini cleanse, energetic cleanse, where everything that we received, all the experience we had, the challenges, the emotional experiences were able to be cleansed and um, transmuted to, to leave a very clean and clear womb space ready for the creation of another human being. So that menstruation period was, it was, yes, a, a process of an egg being created and, and all of this kind of biological process, but on a deeper level, the energetic process was to clear and cleanse and purify our womb in preparation for this create potential creation. And we do that every month. And then we come to menopause. And menopause is that 10x, it is um, the energetic process of menopause is to release and transmute and connect with the entirety of our emotional experience through life. So many women, my, you know, myself included, as I went through menopause, all of my wounds came up, my sense of rejection, my abandonment wounds, all of the wounds come up for us to look at, for us to, to feel, to allow, to process. And 
ultimately to energetically release. And so, you know, the heat, even the energetic heat that is created that we, we you know, we, we are experiencing in menopause, it is the burning and the transmuting of stagnant energy. So every biological process, there is also a paralleled energetic process, which is cleansing and purifying and returning our womb to its purity to its divinity so that in the next phase of our lives we can create this time not a child but we can create our dreams and our wishes and our desires and our purpose we can fulfill our purpose from this clean and cleared and purified womb space and um Actually, let's begin with uh, your story, what your experience with menopause and how that uh, transformed your life and how uh, that inspired you to maybe to do the work that you do. Okay, so I, I will begin a little bit before that. I became a mother quite um, old uh, in, a, in an older, richer state. I had my first child at 42 and my second child in 47. So, and then my menopause started to kick in around 50. So I actually had a three-year-old as I entered into menopause which was quite a challenging uh, experience. I'm sure you, can, you and your audience can comprehend. But what happened when I, my second child was a girl and something was activated within me um, with the birth of a, of a, of a female child, this... Um, It was a spiritual um, awakening in that this um, feminine within me, this pure, strong, divine feminine needed to rise up and to um, make place, stand her ground and, and embody this, this uh, divinity that I am to be the example for her. And this was a very uh, deep and very emotional process um and you know what did it mean for me it meant saying putting my boundaries that were way way overdue saying no to things that I would always say yes to to please everybody it was really starting to create these strong and powerful energetic boundaries that were saying yes to me they may have been saying no to someone else, but that was not the purpose of the boundaries. The purpose of the boundaries was to say yes to me. And as I said yes to me and created boundaries and started to embody this strong and powerful woman that, that I was within me, um, this incredible process began. And, you know, in amongst the, the menopause, all the wounds came up, all the, the, the anger towards men, all that, there was just so much came, that came up that was my entire emotional experience of life. And in the beginning, I was in, entangled in it, really. It was a very, very difficult emotional uh, experience. But because of my own spiritual journey over many, many years, I began to implement the tools that I that I had. I began to really align into the purpose of menopause, which was not to be entangled in all of the emotions, but to create but to create this open vessel for them to be transmuted, for them to be transformed, for me to, to allow them to be, to give them the permission to exist and then to allow them to transmute and, and move out of my system, allowing more joy, more abundance, more uh, meaning to my life that was not being a mother, that was not being a wife, that was being me, this divine feminine being. And uh, I mean, many, many things changed in, in my life. And, you know, it resulted in divorce. It resulted, you know, these boundaries were not 
actually appreciated by many of the people in my life. Um, but I understood these were the boundaries that I needed for me to do my purpose, to live my life in the, in the highest good for all. And, uh, and, and as I went through this process and I, I, I danced, I cried, I did yoga, I hugged trees, I walked in nature, I just used all the tools I had to allow this intense energy, this emotional energy to move through me. I became lighter and lighter and lighter. And then all my gifts started to come on board, all the, all the gifts that I'm here to, to, to use to serve um, started to come on board. And then, uh, you know, I was guided to begin doing the work that I do. And it's incredible because the people, the, the, the women that are coming to me are either just before or in the process of menopause so that whole journey was for me to have a very very aligned and deep experience um, of the, the the divine process of menopause so that I could guide and support other women through their own process to to reach their deep self-acceptance and deep love and deep reverence for for the uniqueness the authentic them the amazing magnificent woman that they are so you talk about menopause being a divine pass passageway could you share your perspective with us the way I have been, uh, I receive um, teachings from a divine feminine principle energy and the teachings are profound. And the way that it was explained to me is that women hold the creational codes of God. We have been entrusted with these codes and these codes do create life but they also create much, much more. We have the potential for much, much more. So part of our responsibility as a divine feminine is um, to move through the potential of, of childbearing and creating life. Um, but there is a second aspect of our responsibility here, and that is to really come into our divine blueprint, into who we are here to be and what we're here to do and who we're here to serve. And that all comes through the menopause as we process our wounds, as we process our uh, comprehension of the, the sacrifices we have made as women um, throughout our lives and we begin to um, we process that and we begin to make different choices we begin to choose us we begin to put us in the center of our world knowing that everybody will benefit from that and as we do that and we become um more aligned with who we are, with our authenticity, the gifts, the passion, the, the joy, the where, where we're meant to serve, it all just begins to come in to our awareness just naturally because that's who we're designed to be. We have a blueprint within us that has all the gifts that we came here with in order to serve our purpose. And our purpose doesn't need to be anything grand and grandiose. For some, yes. But for others, it is being the most amazing grandmother, the, the, the most incredible um, uh, mother. It, 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 there's so many ways. The, the helper, the assister, the example of a balanced um, and empowered woman to be the example for other women you know it's it's 
our purpose can be many, many things, and it's so unique to each one. And it is through this menopause experience when we when we walk the menopause experience consciously, when we don't reject any part of us that comes up in that in in that process. We love. We learn to love that that part of us that feels abandoned and that part of us that feels rejected and that part of us that never has felt belonged. When we begin to give each of those aspects of us a seat at our life table, we transform. We absolutely transform. And as we transform, the insight and the knowledge and the wisdom that we came here with begins to surface we begin to understand it and we walk this divine passageway into the the embodied wise woman that is been through her whole life and now she is here to be the center of her world and share her gifts and share her wisdom what are the ways women can assist the energetic process of menopause there's so many ways and and again it's very unique for each one um each of us find that the, the purpose the purpose of assisting ourselves is to understand that the energy that is building up in us this sadness this grief this anger this resentment the 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 confusion the you know, my life is over, the, the many, many, many things that come up, these emotions and limiting self-beliefs that, that rise up in menopause. Our life is over. I'm worth nothing now. I, you know, my best years are over. All of There's so many limiting beliefs. So when we understand that they're just beliefs, that's not who we are. They're just beliefs. So we then can choose to open ourselves, to allow that to move through us. We can do that through yoga, through dance, through singing, through playing music, through um, different forms of, of, of movement exercise. It can be through Kundalini yoga is a very good one. Um, it can be through um, kind of cathartic um, experiences of really like going in nature and screaming and shouting and allowing our voice to be heard finally um, it can be swimming in the ocean having hot baths and putting candles around and creating a very sensual experience which is just self-love expressed all of these tools are acts of self-love that help us to move this energy, the final movement of energy before we move into the next phase of our life, which is, as a, you know, I'm 55 now, um, it is easily the best part of my life, easily. Mm. I don't care what anybody thinks. I trust myself, I love myself, I accept myself, I have the whole world ahead of me to do whatever the heck I want to do, to follow whatever passion I want to follow. It's, it's a very exciting time and it's a, it's, a, it's a period where we really reconnect with ourselves, with our authenticity, with our passions, with our desires and we choose to make those a priority. It's a very exciting time in life. So can you say that is the biggest gift that you have? I would say the biggest gift was that I, through all of the, the heating and the sweating and the emotions and the change in the body and all of the things that came with menopause was my movement into deep self-love and acceptance it's radical self-acceptance because you know when we feel 
sad about our bodies changing. There is a rejection of our body when we can bring that in and see that as just a natural process for the time. You know, that many things change after menopause. This menopausal period is, is a different period. So this return to wholeness, this return to self-love and self-respect and, and uh, reverence for my uniqueness and, and my life the, that I've experienced. It's, it's like this return to me. Uh, it's, it's really a very special and um, heart-opening and expansive experience. Is there any process or what is the steps that the women can take to uh, love themselves a little bit more? This self-love increase. Oh, I love that question. It's a wonderful question. You know, we have inside of us, uh, you said in the, in the beginning, as you introduced me, that my mastery is in energetics. And uh, that's very much the case. So within, within us, so inside our physical body, we have two main energy uh, sources. We have a masculine energy, which is the, is the action, the decisions, the, the protection, the boundary creator, or, or all of this. It's the action, the fire, the doing. And we have a feminine energy, which is our essence which is our dreams, our desires, our needs. And these two energies um, function with inside of us. And for most of us, there is an inner battle between those energies uh, because of our life experience, because we have, and all the women before us have lived in a patriarchal system. Um, there is a lot of resentment and a lot of... Um, kind of disdain for, for that masculine energy, whether we're conscious of it or not. So a beautiful thing that you can begin to do is to start to reconnect with our inner feminine energy. We currently live by being navigated by the mind. And through this divine passageway of of menopause we can begin to reconnect to that inner feminine to that heart energy that feminine energy and begin to ask her what does she need what does she desire what does she want and it can start with the most smallest things you can make a decision that from next week or from today until you know next next week you will Ask your inner feminine what she wants for breakfast every morning. And regardless of what it is, you have that. And you can ask her what you want to wear and just wear what she says. You know, really begin this reconnection with that inner feminine energetic. She knows everything. She knows everything that you need, every single thing. And we just need to move out of that kind of masculine brain uh, navigation system and back into the feminine energetic who knows us, who knows our desires and our needs. And you just begin to communicate in very simple ways. And to understand what that is doing, and it's a harmonization process, because the very act of asking the inner feminine, what does she want for breakfast? That asking is masculine. So you are training the masculine energy to then be in service to the, to the feminine energy, asking her what her needs are, and then he provides the action by giving it to her. And this is the harmonization of, of the inner masculine and feminine, asking what she needs and actioning that. And it can be done in the most simple ways. Doing writing in a journal, it's the masculine energy creating a space for that inner feminine to express herself. That is the act of journaling. It's masculine action with feminine expression. So this is another harmonization process. But, um, I so how you, how you help, actually, how you work with women uh, mostly? What is your process? 
my process. So all my containers, uh, I do one-on-one -on -one private containers and I do group, um, group courses and uh, masterminds as well. And the process is, is soul-led basically because the soul of, of each person that I work with, I'm in communication with that soul. That is one of the gifts that has come on board. So a person comes to me with, as they're going through their process, they're finding it challenging, they're feeling lost, they're feeling perhaps unsupported or feeling that there's more, but they don't know how to, to activate that. And we go through this process together of, of the unfolding of all that is not them so that the, the authentic uh, self can have a seat at the table of their life. And it's so profound. It's really such a juicy and loving and compassionate space. Because people are meeting parts of themselves that have never had permission to exist before. And so it's kind of self-discovery and reconnect with themselves, align with their Absolutely. Self. Yeah. It's beautiful. it's a it's Very the path beautiful. to wholeness, you know, and it's done through this guidance of the soul. So it's so on point, you know, it's not me coming with my thoughts or my perspective. It is pure soul-led guidance. Divine guidance, so, yes. Yes, so it's absolutely on point for every single one. And the flowering that comes, the self-love and the inner trust and the excitement, the, the, the reactivation of excitement for life, not thinking that your life is almost over, but actually it's just beginning. And it's so exciting. People are getting so excited and, and gifts come online and insights and, and just this empowerment. Um, you know, you fall in love with yourself. Where you people really can uh, find you? How people can reach out to you? So um, I have a website, which I think you will put in yes, the, will in, put in the my... information. I'm also on Facebook. Um, I have a business page and a personal page. If you would like to connect with me, I'm, I, I post a lot. I post a lot of the Divine Feminine teachings. I post meditations. I post my journey. What's the name um, of the Facebook group? It's uh, uh, so a, a Facebook group that I have. It's called the Divine Feminine Teachings. And this is like a library um, of all the teachings and the master classes and the meditations that I've received through this Divine Feminine Principle. They're all in that Facebook group. And I, I just, whenever I get guided to, to go on and speak about something, I just go there and I do uh, recordings there. And then I have a business page and a personal page, which everybody is very welcome to join both. Um, so how, how was the name of the website? Nayana Soul. Nayanasoul.com. Okay. Nayana is Soul Nayana is Soul. on Facebook and Nayanasoul.com. You can find her uh, easily. And uh, you you have and all Instagram the information. also. And Instagram, Instagram I'm on as well. Yes. 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 So thank you so much for to share your wisdom uh, and divinity with us and our listeners. Thank and... you so much for having me. It was really, it's such an honor to have a space to talk about these very sacred and holy passageways that we are uh, walking through as women. So I, I really am very grateful that you create the space for these conversations to happen. And I hope that I hope that the women listening uh, can really connect and even in a little way or to their divinity, to their magnificence, to the potential that is their menopause. Yeah, let's find uh, their inside gift uh, through this divine teaching. I encourage you to find nayanasoul.com uh, and nayanasoul in the Facebook and Facebook group to learn more about this divine teaching and how to align your soul and uh, find your purpose in uh, during the menopause transition. 
uh, thank you to listen me thank you to be with me every week i release new episodes so i see you in the next week uh, stay safe be healthy from my soul to yours namaste